Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with Bye Bonnie Jewelry, where I talk about all things diamonds. So today's episode, we're gonna be featuring a brand new design that we've actually done a few months ago, I wanna say in the two carat version, but this time it's a three carat version and the four prong. I know I feature a ton of six prong on my channel, uh, kind of because that's a little bit of my personal preference too. I don't know why I feel like the six prongs generally make the circle or round more round. But uh, today I really want to show you this four prong version because I think it came out really beautiful. Oh my god, I just gave it away. ta -da! So this is actually a cathedral version. Um, and I've done a lot of low profile versions of different styles on my channel. But really today I want to focus on cathedrals. Uh, we have cathedrals in... Uh, tulip style and this style as well. So this is a three carat size, which I have not done on my channel. I've not shown you guys a three carat version. I have the two carat version here. Uh, I'll show show it to you a photo, uh, which is actually done in two tone. So this is completely done in white gold. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about this design is because I want to talk about the structural design. Okay, so this is cathedral and it goes up tapering to here. Okay, why do we like tapering is because it kind of just comes to a point and it gives a really good um, emphasis on the center stone when you put it on. And four prongs, a lot of people like it because it's less metal. And here, if you choose a very high clarity stone like VS or VVS stone, you'll be able to really see through the diamonds, the profile of the diamonds on the side, which I think it's nice if you're really, uh, you know, investing in a high quality stone. And uh, the profile of this ring actually turned out to be less like height than I thought it is you know, basically the height of the diamond. I mean, if you really look at it, like here there's the bridge where it actually gives you a uh, space for a wedding band. So when you wear it, it's just really beautiful. And once I put um, the wedding band on, this is a French 2.3 millimeter French pavé band that I think would be a really nice low profile uh, match to this particular ring. So I'm gonna put it on for you guys and you can just take a look at how it looks together. I think that's just really beautiful. Two point, I wanna say this is a 2.2 millimeter or two millimeter, I'll double check. Um, but this is paired with a 2.3 millimeter band. So you can kind of see that it, you know, balances out. It's not too thick, not too thin. Um, this model also comes in the thicker, uh, a millimeter band so for for someone that doesn't like something that's too dainty you can definitely opt in for a thicker millimeter band which i have done before and i'll show you pictures of that um you you get a more sturdy look i've done it on my channel i have another uh thicker millimeter one that i've done in three carat in six prong uh pretty much is this ring here so this is the tulip design yeah, same ring a little bit thicker shank in the six prong okay so i'm gonna bring them up side by side so you can get a really good comparison so on top both taper cathedral four prong six prong what, what do you guys think which one are you like liking four six doesn't the six look a little rounder i don't know maybe it's just me so here goes the side profile of tulip and non-tulip. So for those of you who like uh, the floral design, this is definitely a really beautiful, elegant, very feminine. Uh, for those of you who like more clean lines, this might be a good choice for you. Six prong versus four. And thicker band versus thinner band. What do you think? Do you like the thicker band or the thinner band? In my channel, I always talk about like flush wedding band, not flush wedding band. So I just want to remind you guys that whenever you have a larger carat weight, when things start to get like three carat, 3.5 carat, four carat, four and a half, five carat, all the larger carat size, no matter what, it's going to start to get harder and harder to do a flush wedding band. Just because the nature of the size of the gemstone is so big, unless you have a super tall setting or super thick setting, it's going to be really hard to accommodate flush band. So what this cathedral gives you is that little bridge underneath, right, on that side where you're going to be able to have a thicker band. Um, how much thicker uh, you will get a, a little bit more room if you went with four prongs because there's not that 
extra prongs on either side that's going to push out the wedding band right those are the things to keep in mind when you're designing your engagement ring definitely consider your wedding bands uh, what type of wedding bands you want down the line uh, that's going to definitely affect your decision on making like uh, of what type of settings you want uh, a lot of clients fall into this oh i'm shopping for an engagement ring and they fall in love with certain settings right and they buy it and they invest all this money in it and nobody ever told them that oh by the way you're not going to be able to wear XYZ wedding band next to it. So unless you're going to have a smaller stone, meaning like three and a half carat or under, um, that's when you have more uh, flexibility on being able to have a flush band or not because your center stone is not that big. Talking about, you know, again, six prong versus four prong, they were both secure. Um, just making sure that which type of design you're getting. Uh, fancy shape, so anything outside of round. Uh, typically, if you do uh, oval is really popular, right, cushion. But you will notice on my channel that every single uh, four prong ring that is not a round will have a wire. Uh, whether you add diamonds on that wire that becomes a hidden halo ring or not, it's very, very important to have that in my opinion, because like I said, you know for the security of the center stone if the prong moves one prong then the stone it will turn easier and will just fly out because it's not round right so when a round turns it just goes in circle but when it's an oval and it turns it just it can go from the side and fall out or a cushion cut the common misconception is that four prong is not safe but i think that's wrong there's a lot of four prong rings that last uh, a very long time just i think mentally having uh Two more prongs does add some extra security, right? Uh, stick to the design that you love. Know that four prong will be slightly less metal, but still beautiful from um, top view. I really don't see any difference in sparkle because people are like, oh, the six prong is less sparkly. That is definitely not the, uh, uh, not the case, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love your support. Thank you so much. Make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Bye Bonnie Jewelry. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.